Okay, so just as a side note of this video before we start the video, I know I this next part is gonna be um can't think of the word. It, I'm gonna act like that um it's already recorded um that I had a video for it, but I don't have the voice for it. Um, so I'm just going to have videos or photo pictures at the end, um, of this video. Um, so I'll have the video first and then the remaining pictures. So you want to look at the pictures at the end, they're from the keynote. You can go ahead and look at them, but until then... Sorry, you guys didn't have the first part of this video. Thanks. Okay, so just because I couldn't get <clears throat> my uh, screen recorder to work, we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to talk to you about the new MacBook Pro. Um, it, it, I, I've extended this thing out so long now. I'm just about done with it. Um, it's November 16th, so yesterday, November 15th of 2016, MacBook Pro 15 inch with touch bar finally arrived to the people who ordered it. Um, if you go look now, it's backed out four to five weeks and in specific retail stores of Apple, um, it's available for pickup. Um, which will enable you which will enable you to get the new MacBook earlier than four to five weeks. Pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about the new MacBook Pro. Um, this comes in of course two sizes. 13, 15 inch, and you can get the classic, um, you can get the classic, um, silver look, or you can get the all new, um, space gray, uh, those are the only two colors, um, maybe they'll add some later, we don't know. Um, so the 13 inch is 4.9 millimeters thin, it's 70% thinner, 23% less volume, and 3 pounds. Um, the 15 inch, of course, um, that is, um, 15.5 millimeters thin, 14% less thinner. 20% less volume and 4 pounds. Um, it has a 2 times larger trackpad. A second generation butterfly mechanism. So the butterfly mechanism is this new thing where it doesn't sound like this. Hold on. It doesn't sound like this. Or like this. Hold on. Or like this. It won't sound like that anymore. It's a whole new. You know what the new 12 inch MacBook sounds like when you're typing on it? Um, it sounds like that. It's but it's better, it's faster. You don't have to wait for the feed to pop up, it's just so much faster feels good. It almost feels like you're typing on nothing, but you really are. Um, and then, of course, you have the new multi-touch gesture retina display. Um, they say it's retina display, but we all know it's OLED, Apple. An OLED retina display. Um, and it replaces the function keys. And you can get those back. Um, there will be a little X bar up where the escape button would be, and that brings back the escape button and F1, F2, F3, F4, all those other function keys. Um, now let's go ahead and talk about the new function bar, touch bar. It adopts what is currently being used, so if I'm in pages, it goes, it shows me the options I have for pages. If I'm in mail, it t shows me what I could do in mail. So like, in pages if I want to create a new document or bold underline 
and italicize some text. I can do that. I can edit in Final Cut Pro. Just a variety of things I can do. I can edit pictures. I can change the color of that picture. So like I change it to black and white or have a little bit of a bluish tone. Things like that. Um, it's got a second generation sapphire crystal glass touch ID sensor. Um, and if you look at the new MacBook Pro, there is no power button. Now, what Apple didn't tell you in their event is that that Touch ID sensor is the power button. It clicks just like a regular home button, but it's actually the power button that turns it off and on. Now, to put it to sleep and wake it up, you just close and shut the lid. Okay. And another way to get those function keys back is you just press the function button over um so it's all the way in the bottom left hand corner of the keyboard on an apple keyboard okay um let's see and you can also use apple pay with touch id just let you know there the display on the new macbook pro this is um 67 percent brighter 67 higher contrast ratio and 25% more color. Um, we're going to go ahead and talk about the MacBook Pro 13 inch or 15 inch. Sorry, it has an Intel Core i7 6th generation, and the 6th generation is um, Skylake, it's not Cabby Lake, which is 7th generation. Uh, Intel Quad Core 20, 2133 megahertz, that's 2133 megahertz memory. Um, now it's new, this is the best computer you can ever get. Um, you can get, you get Radeon Pro 14nm GPU Polaris architecture, and you can get up to 4 gigabytes. So, standard on the 15 inch MacBook Pro with the touch bar, you get. Um, Two gigabytes of Radeon Pro RAM or Radeon Pro da 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 with standards two gigabytes. You can upgrade it to four, and this is not so like in the old MacBook Pros, it's user user upgradable. You could upgrade the RAM, while the new RAM is soldered to the board, and so are the SSDs. So if you when you order a MacBook, get how much you want then. Because later you can't upgrade. Um, up to four gigabytes of VR, VR RAM, VRAM, and it's up to two point three times faster. It has a super fast SSD up to three point one gigabytes per second. You can upgrade this all the way up to two terabytes. So that I think this is the largest that's ever been in a MacBook before, and it's up to fifty percent faster. The Versus this 15 inch MacBook Pro versus the previous generation of the 15 inch um, in 3D graphics, it's 130% faster. In gaming, it's 60% faster. And in video editing, it's 57% faster. Now, in the MacBook Pro 13 inch, um, when I looked this up, I didn't know which one it was for sure, if it was with or without. I don't know. Anyway. So you can either pick an Intel